Hello and welcome to another video by Project Nigel. Recently I was sent this jack, this bottle jack from Viva. You can see me unwrapping it here. It was much, much bigger than I was expecting it to be. And then I realized on the packaging it said 20 ton. Oh dear, what a mistake. I don't really need a 20 ton jack, do I? I mean, all I have here are cars. Even the Land Rover Freelander is only about a ton and a half. And this jack is so big that it wouldn't even go underneath it. In the yard I occupy, there are always a couple of vans that don't belong to me. So I'm not really going to start jacking those up. But I really do want to do something to challenge this particular gift. And then I realized there is something I could use. Yeah. This 20 foot long skip. Uh, this isn't mine either, of course. This belongs to the, the skip company Dickinson's. And so you could say that I don't have the right to be jacking this up either. But I can't see the mine particularly. I don't know how heavy it is, but it's kind of half full at the moment with bits of carpet and mattresses and all that kind of stuff from the shop. That isn't lightweight stuff. Those mattresses take three men just to put them in the skip in the first place. And of course it's been wet. And you know what water is? Yeah, heavy. So it looks like my challenge is set. I've just got to take the bottle jack down to the other end. Now this jack, you can operate this with the arm there, which is obviously hard work. Or you can simply plug it into the air compressor and let compressed air do the work. What do you think? Will it be able to lift this? I mean, after all, this is a very big skip indeed. It's not one of those that gets dragged about by one of those Diddy seven and a half tonners. No, this is a full sized metal container of crap. As you can see, it only just about fits underneath here. And the piece of wood here isn't as you might think to displace the weight. No, I have a sneaky suspicion that that weight might break that piece of wood. No, it's to stop the bottom side of the jack from getting dirty. It's not even a particularly big compressor, this is it. So, let's find out. Yeah. That's definitely lifted it up about six inches, which incidentally is about as far as it can reach. Now means if I want to do some maintenance underneath this skip, I could probably climb under there, but obviously I won't. Uh, I've just found this in the skip, so I wonder whether the big skip will squash it. Yeah. I should leave that there. I'll leave that there. Let's jack it back up again a little bit and I'll put that underneath there just a bit further just to create a bit of curiosity as to how this particular item ended up under there in the first place. Ah, but we're... It's slowing down already because I'm used, I've used up pretty much all of my compressed air. Still going though. Just about. With just over two bar of pressure. So there we go. Experiment finished. Thank you Viva, or Viva, however you pronounce it, for sending me this particular item. If you happen to want to send me 
items for me to play around with, experiment with and make videos with that you don't quite expect, please feel free to do so. Thank you very much for watching.